So that's the, we saw two examples. Shall we let us take uh, maybe some more examples. We will take probably two more examples. Now, this time hum look at we will try and prove that what if if we have zero point man lijiye something like let's see one two three bar agar hume aise number di jati hai zero point one two three bar and if we are asked show that the number this can be expressed in the form p by q where both p q are integers and q not equal to zero so again our approach is we will say all right we don't know what this number is so actually bolte hain this is x so we write this as 0 0.123 bar now we know ki bar abhi yahan pe teen di, uh, digits ke upar hai iska matlab hai this number jo bhi a number hai what it is isko aap you can write this as 123 123 123 so on so forth so this number is nothing like this so ise hum uh, assume karte hain x now dosto we have to multiply this equation by 10 to the power something and is bar can you guess what the power is yes you guessed it right the power is 3 this time because there are 3 there are three digits which are continuously repeating one two and three so teen number ke upar bar hai so there are three digits which are repeating so so what we are going to do we are going to multiply both sides by 10 to the power 3 so then we will get 10 to the power 3 se agar aap multiply karte ho you will get uh, 10 to the power 3 multiply by x and you will have uh, this number which is basically 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 dot 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 times 10 to the power 3 is 1000 so again jab aap uh, aise karke multiply karte ho by 1000 ye jo decimal number hai it will move to three places on your right hand side so ye ban jayegi aapki 1000x equal to this number will be agar aapki decimal move karti hai three places so ye aapki ban jayegi 1 2 3 point then 1 2 3 1 2 3 like this now aapko malum hai yahan pe we have to get 1x out right so ise hum aise karke break karenge so we, we will get 1x out so we can write this simply as 1, 2, 3 plus 0 point 1, 2, 3 bar. Because ye 1, 2, 3, we can write it, it like this. Plus, ye jo aapki point 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, aise karke dot 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 ja rahi hai. It is nothing but point 1, 2, 3 bar. So, we see ye aapki hai 1000x is equal to, abhi aapko yaha mili hai 1, 2, 3 plus abhi ye jo hai this is nothing but x so you got your x here so we can tell so this implies agar aapko abhi x ko you bring it to this side so aapki 999 x is actually equal to 1 2 3 so that implies x is actually equal to 1 2 3 divided by 999 so this clearly is of the form p by q where p is 1 2 3 q is 999 and q is not equal to 0 and that is why this is a rational number so yahan pe humne dekha dosto ki hamari jo initial number 3 jo decimal number 3 which was 0 0.123 bar that is 0 0.123 123 123 dot 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 this number is actually nothing but 1 2 3 divided by 999 and and so we can say this is a rational number now those before we wrap up we will just take one last example so we hope those so that you are following us along and you are able to understand the logic of of why we are doing what we are doing now actually this time let us take a number say 23 point man lijiye 2, 3, but is by 3 ke upar baat dalte hain, aise karke. 
so and these are complete random numbers also that we are taking so you can think of your own numbers and you can but the approach will remain exactly the same so the saval is so that the number show that the number 23.223 and 3k per bar can be expressed in the form p by q both pq are integers q not equal to 0 that is show that this number is a rational number so hum kaise karke proof karenge well we will start with saying hey is number ko maan lije x lete hain so x is equal to 23.23 bar sirf 3k upar hai so if you get that what it means is that 23.23 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. So, here is the important thing that it is the 3 which is repeating. Decimal ke baad, it is not the 2 which is repeating. Or both 2 and 3 repeating. Sirf 2 remains as it is, but 3 is repeating because bar sirf 3 ke upar hai. Alright, so now, our next step is, you know that we are going to multiply it by 10 to the power something. And something depends on how many digits are recurring. So, here there is only one digit which is recurring. So, what do we do? We will multiply both sides by 10 to the power 1 this time. Why 1? Because there is only one digit which is recurring. So, this is like, uh, this is like, so this is like, 23233333 like this, multiply by 10. Now, if you multiply it, you will realize that this number is this will shift the decimal point will shift one digit here so this is going to become two three two point three 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 like this right agar aap 10 se multiply karte ho so this is going to become like this Okay. Now what is the next step? Now our next step is we want to actually now take out this number. Me say we want to take out this number. We want to write it as x plus something, right? Where x is our this number, right? So, yani ki, so how do we do that? So, well, we know left hand side we have 10x mil gai hai. But abhi sawal ye hai ki right, right hand side mein ise hum kaise karke break kar sakte hai. Taake we can write this as, um, as something plus x. So, wo something kya hai dosto? So, uh, to find out what that something is, agar ise hum do part mein likna chate hai, such that this part could be something and this part is x. So, ye something kitni hai dosto? So, the way to find out something is, so something will be then this minus x, right? So ye jo aapki number hai, let's chale se yahan pe likhte hain. Jo 2, 3, 2 point 3, 3, 3, ye jo number hai aapki. Yahan se we want to take out x which is 23.2333. So 23.2333. अगर आप इसे माइनस करते हो, so you will get this as, you will get this as, so um, point one, right? and then ये आपकी सब जीरोस बन जाती है, so you'll get point one, and then यहाँ पे, um, so two and three, so one, three से आप one बोरो करोगे, so twelve minus three will be 